Hello, welcome to this short video discussing preparing a Rhino model for 3D printing. So, I've got this little robot model. I know that there are some problems with it at the moment uh, to do with reversed faces. Um, I'm on the surface tools and I've got these two options here. If I use this one, show direction, and then select these objects, I get a lot of little arrows. Most of them are pointing outwards. That's the direction of the normal for those faces. A face has only got one side to it and it needs to be pointing outwards. I know that there are some problems with this and I know that some are pointing inwards. Um, I can't really tell using that tool so I'm not going to use that one. I'll show you a different way of doing it. So at the moment though if I was to export this as an STL file export selected and show you what the problems are when I jump into 3D printing software, add this model, bring it in. So you see there are holes, there are walls missing, the face is missing. Uh, that's because that face is reversed, it's pointing inwards, which means that the MakerBot software that I'm using can't see the face. So let's fix that, I'll delete that out. Jumping into Rhino again. Um, make sure that you are on shaded view and then go to view display options and view shaded we want to see our back faces so back face settings use front face settings so that's not very useful for what I'm trying to do here so I'm going to change that to single color and make it nice and bright and apply that so you see suddenly I can see those missing faces those are the faces that are reversed so quick job to fix, I can select it and hit that button which flips it round and that is good to go. Do the same for these. You might need to explode objects because sometimes within a grouped object some of the faces are missing. I don't need to spend to do them all individually. If I hold shift I can select three and flip all three at the same time. Okay, um, always remember to look underneath your model to check that that's okay that often gets forgotten so I know this is good to go now so I can go file export selected I'll overwrite that file jump back into MakerBot add that in and you can see that those faces are now where they should be so I hope that's helpful thanks very much